Welcome to the ITIL4 Continual Improvement Practice e-learning course from One World Training. This course has been prepared based on the guidance from PeopleCert and Axelos. We would like to first of all acknowledge PeopleCert and Axelos for that. About One World Training. We are a global training and consulting company having offices in the USA, the UK, the Netherlands, India, Malaysia, United Arab Emirates, South Africa, and many other countries globally. We provide training in information technology, business management, project management, ISO standards, GDPR, and many other subjects for individuals and organizations. One World Training delivers courses in five different ways. One, public classrooms. Two, online or virtual from home or your work. Three, e-learning, which is self-paced. Four, a mix of e-learning along with support when you need it and five at the user's location on-site for private and government organizations. One World Training is authorized and endorsed by leading global professional bodies. We are an Axelos consulting partner as well for performing the ITIL and the P3M3 capability and maturity assessments. P3M3 is the project, program, and portfolio management maturity model. And we can also help you with, the, in fact, help organizations and uh, perform those assessments uh, to understand their maturity levels for ITIL and the project program and portfolio management practices. On this slide, you can also see the logos of some of the bodies that we are associated with and also the certifications that we offer, the courses that is for those certifications. So for example, we see not only ITIL, but also PRINCE2, which is projects in controlled environments. Then we have PRINCE2 Agile, and uh, we also have the Agile Shift, then MSP, Managing Successful Programs, MOR, Management of Risk, MOP, Management of Portfolios, MOV, Management of Value, P3O, Project Program and Portfolio Offices. And then we also offer the PMI certifications such as PMP, ACP, CAPM, et cetera. And we also have the Service Desk Institute certifications. Then uh, we also have business simulations from GameWorks, then uh, we also offer the PeopleCert DevOps, PeopleCert Scrum certifications, and the PeopleCert um, DevScales, Lean IT, and the Exen certifications, as well as the IASSC, the International Association for Six Sigma certifications. So we have uh, quite a lot uh, of courses available with us. Now, focusing on the Continual Improvement Practice certification exam, it's a short exam lasting only 30 minutes. Candidates who are taking the exam in a language that is not their native or working language uh, will be allowed 25% additional time. So that makes it 30 plus eight, 38 minutes. The exam system detects that based on the profile that you entered at the time of registration, uh, the time of creating your account with people, sir, or during the registration of the exam in case the language has not been specified already by you. There will be 20 multiple choice questions. There is one mark per question, no negative marking, and you need to obtain at least 13 correct to pass the exam, which is 65%. There will be the, most of the questions would be the standard multiple choice with four options, and one of them would be the correct answer. You will also have certain negative questions, meaning it can be a question framed with the word not, for example, which of the below is not correct. And then you will have, just a very few, maybe a couple of list questions. List questions mean out of the four given answer choices, you will need to select two of them and the combination of the best two will be the correct answer. It's a closed books uh, exam and uh, it's proctored online by an invigilator from PeopleCert. The exam is at level two and level three of the Broom's Taxonomy of Learning and Testing. Level two is about your understanding of the concepts from this course. Level three is about application. So the 20 questions will be a mix of level two and level three. Generally, there will be more questions at level two and lesser at level three. And uh, we will also show you at the end of each module or each section, uh, whether the questions would be at level two or level three or a mix of both and approximately how many from each level. I'm saying approximately because from the syllabus, the official syllabus, uh, it is not clearly known the split between the Bloom's level two and level three questions, but just a fair idea. There won't be any very basic memory recall or level one questions at all. 
This is the overall ITIL for certification scheme. And we can see here all the ITIL certifications that are available. And let me take you through this. So we have uh, at the very bottom, we have the ITIL foundation and which is a prerequisite for many other courses above. And currently we are in the continual improvement, which is the CI here, which is coming under the bundle named Collaborate, Assure and Improve, which means the this bundle is also a separate longer exam. And if you took that course and appeared for the exam, that single Collaborate, Assure and Improve would cover all the five practices, namely the continual improvement, not only that, but also the service level management, relationship management, information security management, and supplier management. However, in this course, we are covering only the continual improvement uh, certification. We also have the other bundles, namely the plan, implement, and control bundle, uh, which is a longer exam. So you could choose to take that single course with a longer exam, or you could choose the five individual certifications as well, which are shorter courses and shorter exams. So those include the change enablement, release management, service configuration management, deployment management, and IT asset management. Then we also have the third bundle, which is the monitor support and fulfill bundle, which is again, a longer duration exam with a lot more content, the five practices that is, or you could do the individual five practices of that bundle, namely the service desk, incident management, problem management, service request management, and monitoring and event management. Therefore, we have mainly three bundles, monitor support and fulfill, the plan implement and control, and the collaborate assure and improve. Or you could choose any of those practices within them as separate courses for yourself. And in order to obtain the ITIL practice manager qualification, there is no separate exam for this. You need to do a few things. First of all, you need to have the ITIL foundation certificate. You also need to have the create deliverance support and you need to, to have um, a five practices from out of this complete list here that I'm marking in yellow and also including the two from the left side, namely the business relationship management specialist and the IT asset management specialist. Which means if you pick up, uh, for example, somebody could do, they could actually pick up monitor support and fulfill and therefore obtain five certificates. I mean, it's equivalent to five certificates, that single certificate, and then do create deliverance support and ITIL foundation. So they automatically receive the practice manager. Another example could be, for example, in your case, you are doing continual improvement. You might choose in the future service level management. Maybe you choose release management and you might choose incident management and service desk. So that also makes it five from this longer list. And then once you have the create deliverance support and ITIL foundation, of course, which is the very basic, you will automatically receive the practice manager. A last example here out of many possible examples is somebody could even do the business relationship management or the IT asset management or both. And then uh, then they, if they pick both of them, they have picked up two already. They need to pick three more so they could do change enablement. They could do deployment management and they could do, for example, service request management. So that makes it five. And uh, if they do create deliverance support and of course the foundation, then they would receive the ITIL practice manager automatically. And the ones at the extreme left, the acquiring and managing cloud services specialist and the other specialist sustainability and digital IT or separate extension standalone ones where you don't have to even complete the ITIL foundation. As you can see, the foundation bar has not been extended towards the extreme left. Now, if you look at the middle column, the ITIL managing professional, it is a certificate automatically obtained if a candidate completes the direct plan and improve, create deliverance support, high velocity IT, and the drive stakeholder value. And of course, that would all require the ITIL foundation prerequisite. And if these are done, then the managing professional is automatically awarded. A couple more things uh, for us to complete this picture. Those of you who are interested, if you're interested, for example, to become a strategic leader, you would have to do, in that case, the direct plan and improve course and certificate, then the digital IT strategy and certificate, and then the ITIL foundation, of course, and that would automatically fetch you the strategic leader. And the moment an individual has obtained practice manager, managing professional and ITIL strategic leader, they automatically receive the ITIL master certificate. There is no separate exam for the ITIL master. And you can see some information at the bottom here, uh, the fine print here, 
this essentially briefly explains all that I explained to you regarding the various certifications and the how to obtain those certifications. So we want to wish you success in your learning and certification journey.